One in three bites of your food is responsible from a bee, basically moving a bit of pollen from one flower to another one. That allows the second flower to create a seed, a nut, a fruit, or a vegetable. And so that's really important. And this is why there's certain things that we can influence how environmentally friendly or sustainable our food production is. And it influence the population of bees. around 12 years ago. We were very interested at the time in small-scale food production and agriculture. So we started by taking the University of Manitoba beekeeping for the hobbyist class. And so we got really excited about beekeeping. We focus mostly on urban beekeeping. Although the hives that we have individually look similar to what you would see in the countryside, what we do is quite different. There's a few basic things. One is that we're often using rooftops, unused spaces around the city. The goal is not about mass volumes of honey production. It's really about acting as a pollinator to help increase food production in the city and also acting as sort of a conversation starter. So our impact on the environment and that discussion around food production, basically urban beekeeping allows people to engage into those thoughts because we're normally very insulated from them. So it's a little bit different, but in the end, just like a beekeeper in the countryside, we're worried about the well-being of our bees and we want to make sure that what we're doing is sustainable and that they survive the winter and it can go on year after year. Although when people think of what we do, they think of the beekeeping, for us, what makes it valuable what we do is we're trying to get public engagement. We're trying to share with the public um, why bees are important, how they help increase yields of food and food security and how gardening and pollinating works and what that means because a lot of us have forgotten since we learned about it in grade three. Without our population of bees, it's estimated that we would lose about a third of the world's food production, whether it's things like apples, almonds, blueberries, canola, all of these different things require a bee to move the pollen from flower to flower for us to have a, a harvest. So this is very important. There are many types of bees and there are many types of different peoples out there. Some people don't want or it's not practical to have a beehive in their yard. Our goal isn't that every yard or rooftop would have a beehive. What we want to do is encourage people to take steps that fit with their life or their organization's outlook on things. So gardening, planting a diversity of plants, trying to choose ones that are not, uh, not sprayed or treated with chemicals is very important, as well as if you can choose native plants or perennial uh, ones that come back every year and ones that have can support native pollinators, the wild pollinators that are here. It's a multifaceted approach to being bee friendly and we hope that the whole community can sort of adopt that philosophy. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more stories from your community or across the country, be sure to follow Shaw Spotlight on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel.